Now, so many of us, women in particular, spend a lot of time and a lot of money on beauty, like makeup and hair and fashion. Imagine, though, if you were losing your vision and ability to get your look just right. Our Joyce Evans now with the story of how a young woman is maintaining her sense of style with the help of a prominent, permanent makeup artist. She's full of adventure, pretty daring, a world traveler, and an advocate for animal preservation. Shireen Destin is always camera ready, and like most women, she works at bringing out her very best. But this young new bride needs some extra help at it these days. Shireen is rapidly losing her vision to a degenerative eye condition. She's lost her ability to maintain her exotic look independently. It literally changes everything. Enter Rosemarie Beauchemin, longtime advocate for the visually impaired. One, two, three. She helps visually impaired young people like Shireen to keep up their standards of style. It's as though they're forgotten, you know, um, and they tend to kind of hide out in, in the background of life. And that really bothered me. They're hiding out because they're not confident. It's like feathering. She encourages her students to give back. These tattoo makeup artists, nurses, estheticians, you name it, have come from all over the world to the Bow Institute of Permanent and Corrective Cosmetics. They came here to be certified. It's all about the brows. The brows set the stage for the entire face. Rosemarie is president of the American Academy of Micropigmentation. How you doing? Doing good. She first permanently lined Shireen's eyes a couple of years ago and gave her her first tattooed eyebrows. My vision was better then and I could see just how natural looking they look. It was really helpful to have my eyebrows done and wake up and not have to fill them in with makeup like I had been doing. But Rosemarie says there's a process to get them just right and that it rarely ever happens all in one visit or by trying to get brows you saw on somebody else. They're pulling them out of magazines and they don't work on them. They're just not, it's not for their face, for their features. It's not for everybody. This is Shireen's third visit, her second for microblading, that feathered look. It's kind of like your perfection visit. It's an even bigger deal for Shireen. But now, since my vision has been getting worse, it really is, it's so helpful for me. It, it's, it's definitely life-changing. What does it feel like? I can't really feel like a prick. I mean, I am, she did put a lot of the numbing cream on. The pigments, like tattoo ink, are not FDA approved, but Rosemary says all of the ingredients in her bottles are gamma sterile, mm -hmm. super duper sterilized. She does say there are some medical conditions that may cause an issue for some clients. There may be things that we get medical clearance for, like someone on chemotherapy or just coming off joint replacement, hip, you know, all of the hip valve stents. None of those are issues for Shireen. There is maintenance to keep it fresh, though. You run a few hairs through again, and they're good for another year or so. About 30 minutes later, Shireen is good to go. Joyce Evans, Fox 29 News. Now, Rosemarie says your first microblading procedure should cost between six and eight hundred dollars, and it should include your first touch-up. On your radar tonight is another night.